everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gretchen and this is Gretchen's One DIY at a Time where I do shopping hauls and some DIYs, um, more of which you will see um, as we progress into this year. I have lots of great ideas coming up and I'm going like this so you can see my t-shirt that was a gift to me from a dear friend for my birthday last year. Gretchen, a child of God, a woman of faith. And uh, I haven't had the chance to wear it yet, so I thought, why don't I wear it while I am showing all of you guys all the great stuff that they've had out at the Dollar Tree. And I, as I said, this also includes a few items from some other fabulous stores, Dollar General and Target Dollar Spot and Bad Bad, 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 bath and body works. Okay, so, so I'm going to just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, today is, uh, today's Monday, January 12th, and, uh, had a, a whirlwind of a weekend, and, uh, just, just lots going on, running errands, and this, that, and the other thing. I went to work today. And, uh, so yeah, so I just thought I'd just, uh, clue you in a little bit, and now let's get right into the good stuff. So, the first thing I'm showing you is this Valentine's Day chalkboard heart with the red glitter trim, and it has, excuse me, a really nice edge here with this kind of little design on it, and you can write anything your heart desires on here which is why I love it and uh, so I got one of those and I got one of these for a DI upcoming DIY project it's one of these long trays the, the charger plates in silver and uh, these you have to really be careful with I noticed um, I did make something with one of these and it uh, shattered into pieces when it fell so just uh, be on the lookout for just be really really careful when you're working with this and um, I just thought it was just fantabulous I, I really like silver and I'm starting to uh, get things out for spring then I found some of these wooden houses. I picked up. I picked up five of these. Um, I I got two of the. Oh, I got three different sizes. Um, this one is. It has um, the orange, blue, and yellow um, pattern with the white, and it stands alone. These are great for crafting, great for making gifts. You can customize this any way you choose. Uh, the back pops out. You can pop that out very easily and chalkboard this and write any message you like or design it any, any old way you choose. Or just keep them plain, even plain. I like them. This one is striped with red, purple, turqu tur tur turquoise, <laughs> white, and orange. And I, I got three of these with the cactus pattern. I am going to have a lot of fun crafting up some stuff with those. And I got this pen by Jot. That is rainbow and a furry and this is a wonderful pen I am thinking that this will make a great gift for anyone you know who loves color who loves funky things and I just had to get it it's so uh, soft and it's kind of like in the rainbow color what does it say choking hazard small parts not for children under three so I suppose it's because it has this little plastic tip there. Uh, I always like Dollar Tree pens. 
I have some at the office. Uh, a good friend of mine, Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, tells me she buys funky pens, like to do her finances, you know, writing checks and makes her happy. I think that it's one of the small pleasures in life. You know, if you can get a cute pen that makes you smile, why not? And uh, I found some of these pillowcases that um, they have. I don't know if they had put them out again. This one says good morning and it's a satin pillowcase. I know I saw people showing these um, earlier this year and I was just finally able to find them. So don't give up hope. <laughs> if you see something um, on one of the shopping videos that you don't have in your store, don't give up hope. Either look at another Dollar Tree, or chances are your Dollar Tree will get them soon. I have the other two, Sweet Dreams and Good Night, on those pillows behind me. And you can see that the only uh, gripe I have about these is that they are slippery, and they slip off the bed very easily. So that's something to look out for. Um, although um, it is very luxurious and I love it. Makes me happy. Okay, let's see what else I got here. Then I got uh, a whole bunch of these containers. I think I got about five or six of these uh, containers with the red lid. And uh, they could be used, well, they're designed obviously for Valentine's Day, but I did see a YouTuber use these for storage because they have the lids and they're semi uh, transparent. You can kind of see more or less what's in here. Just slap a label on there and you can stack them up. And I have, you know, a couple of organizing projects in the works and I think that these will come in handy. And I, I just think that they're really pretty and will add a nice accent to um to any any room and they do say in feng shui that you should have at least one thing that is red in your room for good luck so that might be my red thing okay so moving right along moving right along to the next bag okay so i uh I got one of these uh, wooden, small wooden wreaths. Or uh, actually, yeah, it's a wood blend wreath. This is the nine inch wreath. And in the crafting section, I picked up one of these wooden hope signs. And my plan is to adhere the hope sign to the wreath and to add uh, some purple flowers in there and uh, I am making this for a dear friend of mine who I think he's gonna really like it and if he's watching he knows who he is I even thinking of painting the word hope purple because that's his favorite color all right, so on to the next thing. Then I, I did find uh, some of these eight inch wreath forms. They come a two in a pack. This is the floral garden in the gardening section. I got two of these and the smaller wreaths are uh, so much fun because they're much easier to work with and you can put them just about anywhere. You don't have to put them on the door. You can put them on any wall to add uh, beautiful, decorative, homemade, homemade decoration, decorative pieces in your home. Now I want a sip of my, um, of my iced tea. So I hope you guys are having a nice drink of uh, whatever you like, coffee, tea, Hmm. iced tea. Maybe you're having a little wine. I don't drink, but 
um, oh, actually, maybe I'll use these in the wreath. This is the Globe Flowers Trollis, and it really looks so real. It's not even funny. And one of them fell off, and I know I'm pretty certain that it's in the bag, so I'll just pop that back on. I think that these will look great in any one of those wreaths. And I will make a video when I do make those wreaths. Okay, and then I got this red heart-shaped bowl. I just thought it was groovy. I mean, I was just thinking like um, Greenwich Village. Uh, uh, this it makes me think of like Greenwich Village for some reason, um, where they, you know, you find a lot of funky things, um, and you can put anything in here, anything. And it doesn't have to just be for Valentine's Day. It can just be like a funky decor piece. Um, I'm so happy I got that because I did, you know, have some doubts. Like, do I really need this or... But um, that won't go to waste. Okay. And um, I got a box of these Nescafe Taster Choice House Blend Instant Coffee. And this comes six packets in a box. That is the Taster's Choice by Nescafe. It's the house blend, smooth and well balanced, smooth and well balanced. And I got these to throw in my pocketbook. Sometimes we run out of coffee at work. And uh, a couple more um, Valentine's candy things. I got this Happy Heart Day box of chocolates. You get, I think, five chocolates in the box. And um, I love the little pink truck. I think this will even make a nice uh, centerpiece for the dining room table. Since I am not really going all out to decorate for Valentine's Day, I just like to add a few accent pieces to the dining room table, and I have a couple of little shelves um, that I like to put holiday decor on. Then um, a friend of mine, I think it was actually Marina, told me that this Balmer's brand of chocolate, I think it's Marina, so if it wasn't, then... I don't know, but <laughs> some a good friend of mine told me that this Balmer uh, making candy fun, this Balmer chocolate is is really awesome. So I got two of the uh, peanut butter hearts. I am a big fan of uh, chocolate and peanut butter, and uh, so I got two of those. I am also putting a, a a little basket together for my mom with some treats to give out to her friends at her the place where she lives and um, for crafting I in the crafter square aisle I found these wood cutouts you get six two hearts two stars and two flowers and they are small and um, I want to paint these up. And then I picked up another one of these electronic dusters. Safely removes dust and lint from hard to reach places. It's compressed gas. This is a two ounce can, a two ounce can. And um, for convenience sake alone, I think that this is definitely worth a dollar, even though there is not a tremendous amount in here. This It's perfect for small cleanup jobs, just to, especially in the car when you want to get 
crud or dust out of certain little areas. These are great to have. Uh, and I had showed you the blue garbage bags that I bought. And uh, I think those were the large ones. I also, I from the Essentials brand, picked up a package of the 35 yellow garbage bags in the lemon lemon scent. These are not as fragrant, um, but I'm pretty, I'm fully stocked now with, with, with uh, bags. I buy them now because in the past, uh, I always had an, a, a whole ton of them from stores when they used to give out the plastic bags. I always had a ton and I always used them for garbage, for, you know, picking up dog duty and what have you. So now that we don't get those anymore, I've had to kind of, I have a little, um, uh, stockpile of, of those. So I don't have to get them for a while. And I had picked up the dog waste bags with the dispenser, uh, 30 in a pack in the black and the blue. So I saw red today. And I bought a, a few of these, and uh, I'm pretty well stocked for a while. So each roll has 15 in a bag. And this, I and I did say that you're not going to find a better deal than this. I was in uh, one of the big chain stores. I think it was Walgreens. And they went for what much more than a uh, dollar for 30 bags. So, moving right along to the next bag. And, um, yeah, this is, like I said, um, it's a little bit random. I picked up some of these peel and stick wall creations. And I purchased three. And this one is uh, with the butterflies. And let's see, you get one, two, three, four. You get five. I took down my Christmas decorations, y'all. Hallelujah. And those, I'm telling you, those large storage bags, the heavy-duty ones, they are gods, and then I, I had some of the extra large ones, and I put all of the all of my Christmas decorations in those. And the beautiful thing about them is that you can see what is in the bag. So when I store those away, when I go to take them out again next year, I'll know exactly what is in those bags. And then I got two of these. Um, they're kind of it's it's a cloud with a moon in it, and. Uh, some other clouds with some stars. Oh, yeah. So this is where I was going with that. I had taken down the Christmas decorations, putting up the spring decorations. And uh, I have uh, some an area downstairs with some pictures. And I wanted to use these as accent pieces. And I think that they're going to look really lovely. I don't think that they're going to look cheesy. That was a concern of mine. It's like, you know, is it going to look childish? But I, I love it, and I think it's going to look beautiful. And that is my style, is kind of boho, funky boho eclectic. I have uh, some farmhouse, some... You know, it's, it's a really beautiful blend of things, and I think it works for me, and I love it. So, um, I did uh, see some St. Patty's Day things out. You know what? Let me show you what I got for my dogs for um, Valentine's Day. So I got, I have two girl doggy woggies, as you know, Bella and Coco. And I got them each um, a pink toy. Well, this one is like a little monkey on his belly. And um, this one is a little unicorn on her belly. And I just think it's so beautiful. I'm not spending money on dog toys anymore at the big chain stores because they just destroy them, especially the ones with the squeakers. From now on, I'm only getting their toys at the Dollar Tree because there are no, it's all fabric. 
There are no pieces that can come off. Yes, they will, they'll destroy this one too eventually, but not as quickly and they'll enjoy it longer. Those other ones with the squeakies, they just destroy. And then I, I, <coughs> I thought that this, these pet placemats in, in the bone shape <coughs> is just so too super, super duper cute and adorable. So on Valentine's Day, they'll each get a placemat for their food and a little pink toy. How super duper duper cute is this? For two dollars, $2, okay, for two dollars each, I can make my doggies be special on Valentine's Day. And that makes me very happy. Okay. Uh, I did get a, oh, let me show you a couple flat more flowers. I got these yellow heather and this onion grass. And these will either go in bouquets or wreaths. Uh, these were brand new. They were just taking these out. They were just putting these out on the shelves. And I, I love this, this grass portion it, it, that adds height. And that little bit of height makes all the difference in the aesthetic. Okay, now I'll show you the few little things that I did get. Oh, I want to show you my shirt again. Child of God, woman of faith. Okay, sorry. All right, so the few things that I got. I'm not. I don't decorate the whole my whole place for St. Patrick's Day, but I do like for every holiday. I do like to have some like a little centerpiece on the table, uh, some accent, some decorative accent pieces, uh, just, just to be relevant. And it makes me happy. So I got this, a shamrock towel with the shamrocks, just one. And I'm planning to put this in the fruit basket. I'll open it up. Let me get my scissors. Scissors. Cut these. So I'm gonna. You, you could even make pillows out of these if you're Irish, and you love. You know, I'm part Irish, but if you're like, or if you're just like all into St. Patty's Day, you could make. You could make pillows. You can make a nice, uh, a nice shamrock pillow, actually. You know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I will make a shamrock pillow. Hmm, maybe I'll go back and get two more of these if, if I can find them. <coughs> I wish that I could get these ideas while I was shopping. <laughs> but um, if all else fails, if I do not find two more, my plan is to just put this into the, my fruit basket. Um, on the table and with a couple of these these doodaddies the hat I just think this is so super cute uh, and this I don't know what this this white piece is really but um What is this thing? I don't know. What is this? But, um, but I got that for the table, for the table, um, and a couple of these. Now these also stand up and these might go on my little shelves. Just a couple of these. And, uh, and, and one of these, I may put this in my kitchen. Yeah. They had so, so many colorful things. Um, I mean, so many 
nice things for St. Patrick's Day. They had all kinds of things. Although the, I don't know, um, you know, if people are going to be getting dressed like they usually do, uh, yeah. you know, considering. Because I, I believe last year um, we didn't go into, they, they there wasn't the major shutdown until right after St. Patrick's Day. So, so we'll see what happens with that, you know. Um, okay, so, uh, now I'm going to show you something, a couple of things from, oh wait, I have, um, a couple of things that I forgot to show you, uh, that were from, um, Valentine's Day, and these are, like, little centerpiece pieces with these hearts and roses, and, um, I went... I, I didn't, I have, blah, 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 blah. I got these a couple of days ago, and um, then when I went back, they were all gone, so maybe your store has them, if not, these are, these would be really easy to make, you could get just, get some of the roses, some of the heart picks, and any kind of little, you know, uh, some pink paper, some rib, some ribbon or twist tie. These these would be really easy to make. This would be really easy to make. Um, I might may, may make something very similar to this in in the in the summer. But um, I actually got a bunch of. I, I meant to bring them into work, but I said, oh, I gotta I gotta show them to my subbies first. So. Um, because I do, you know, for a few dollars, you can brighten up the office. <clears throat> People really love it. And why not spread some joy? Oh, okay. I don't know if I show you this. This was kind of left over, I think, from the holidays. Because it has like this shiny silver piece. But I do like these... It's just called Holiday Display Bouquet. Um, I do like these taller pieces uh, that add a little height uh, on a shelf or in a, a floor vase. I do. I'm going to really enjoy deciding where to put that, but I know it's going to be beautiful wherever it goes. So I think I have showed you all of the Dollar Tree things. So now I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got at Dollar General. There's a Dollar General right next door to my Dollar Tree. So I alternate. I only have an hour. I'm on my lunch break. So I can't make two trips. And it's a really wonderful thing that I only have an hour <laughs> because it really limits, you know, it gives me um, some structure to my shopping. Um, so, actually, I had I have another plant, but it's down in the kitchen. I'll try to remember to include a picture. But this one was $5, and it is in this really 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 lovely container as a nice accent piece I think it's beautiful I think it's beautiful yeah what more can I say what more can I say uh, the other one couple that I did get are were three dollars and now that's the first thing I look for when I go into Dollar General I go and see I go and see what kind of what what, what kind of um, artificial plants they have. I love real plants, don't get me wrong. Um, although, I do I do like these too, just uh, for the aesthetic that they add to the room. The aesthetic and, and the longevity, they last. Yeah, they last. The other, yeah, the other ones I, I got have like a concrete base. So I can't put it down because I just love it so much. But I did get two of those. Okay. And 
I am so excited about this for real. I'm going to put this over my bed. This was a dollar and this is the glitter foam garland. I'm going to go ahead and open it now. It's uh, they're attached to a piece of jute cord. Now you could easily uh, make this, but um, you know, if you don't have to, if it comes already made, I think that this is so beautiful. And of course, I'll spread the hearts out. And I love that it's on this juke cord. And um, I know Marina would like this too because she loves things like that are like a combination of rustic and I forgot what she what she called it. Um, not not cheesy. That wasn't the word. But these these fun um, vintage kind of glittery kind of decorations. And I think that this is going to look fantastic over the bed. I think that's going to look fantastic. So, put that over there. Okay, and um, at Target... Uh, I got this already made wreath for $5 and it's um, a heart with the, this kind of branchy kind of heart. And it has the roses and, and it hangs on a piece of juke. So I'm thinking one, you know, even if I could have made this, uh, I got it. Maybe it's a splurge of five bucks, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful and, and it's great for any season. And, and I can take these flowers off and change the flowers. I just love that heart. I'm a big fan of hearts. And I got, I don't remember how much I paid for these, so I did, I got some, I think they were like $6 or something for these uh, 3M picture hanging strips, command strips. Um, my kitchen uh, counter and, and the back of the counter, um, I wanted to put up some pictures and they're like Formica, I can't really... Um, put nails into the to uh, that's the for just about anything. So my phone just told me that I'm almost out of space. So I'm going to show you really really quick what I got for ten bucks. Ten bucks, y'all. Ten bucks at get your bodies over to the Bath and Body Works. I'm telling you, they're 75% off. This was this uh, Snow Peach Berry. Snow Peach Berry. The 8 ounce tube of lotion. Um, I think this was like originally $15. I got it for like 4 bucks. And this Aromatherapy Energy Plumeria and Mandarin with Natural Essential Oils. Also, originally $15, I got it for like three bucks. And then I had a balance to complete. I had been given a $10 gift card from work. Um, a little sanitizer for two bucks called A Thousand Wishes. So it's kind of a race with, for the clock. A race for the clock? A race with, oh, and I still have the card. It's kind of a race with the clock here because my phone did tell me that um, I was just about out of storage. So let me end it here. Love you all. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and liking. And uh, if you want to share it on your Facebook, that's cool too. And happy shopping. And um, be well, be safe, be smart. Mwah! Until next time.